Well, it's the end of the day now. It's five o'clock and dark and I'm losing my light, but you're going to see in this video, a day in the life of Nanny and Moose, a busy day where Matthew visits and Nanny and Matthew work outside and finish the purging job. And Moosey finds a tub of memorabilia from the days when he was a little boy and he's having fun. It's gonna be a great video. You're going to see Nanny right from when she puts her collagen in her coffee to washing her face and putting on that new conceal stick with no foundation and then rushing outside for a day of work in her overalls. So if you think you might like to join us, work along with us, please do. It's a fun day. Here are the halos that I swear by, that I wash my face morning and night with. Any makeup that I have on, it gets it off. I tell you, it exfoliates. You know, I've never done this other than, I've been using this maybe a year now, and I swear these things are wonderful. I'm gonna show you these and recommend these as a Christmas present. After you do that, you know my drill, so I'm gonna show you these halos. That's the brand name of one set, but they make a lot of dupes. And I have a couple of these ones and swear by them. I think it's done a lot for my complexion in the way of exfoliating and making it tighter. What else? Now my Nivea, now my face is quite damp. And what the Nivea does is lock in the moisture completely, like a Vaseline does. Now, I haven't put anything else on my face. Um, I will, when I put makeup on, put castor oil on, on top of that, too. But not now. Maybe I'd put a little hyaluronic acid on at night or something, but just the Nivea now. Well, Matthew is due here at 9.30. And... We are going to be working outside, putting, uh, pulling out Christmas tubs, putting other tubs away, and finishing up this purging job. Poor Matthew gets the, <laughs> the cleanup job with me. We never quite finished it. We were all so exhausted. There's so much to do in the way of extra things, girl. But. So as you know, I have used Nivea since I was in my 30s. And that's been my mainstay for moisturizing. I saw a woman once in San Francisco when we were living there with beautiful skin. She was in her late 40s. I asked her what she used, and she said Nivea. And I started using Nivea from that day on, and that's it. Now, it will eventually sink in. I use other things. I like my Vaseline for slugging, but... On the whole, Nivea is my go-to. And I rub hard. I, my face gets a good massage in the morning. And I try and get these little lumps and bumps out. Easy under the eyes. Always do the eyelids because our eyelids get there and then any extra. So that's it. Anything that's still left, I use it on my hand, the backs of my hands too, and many times my whole body. As you know, I haven't been using foundations, so I'm gonna let this soak in for a while. I've got my overalls on, and I put them over my PJs. Maybe because my flannel shirt is nice and warm, my PJ shirt. Now I've shown you a little bit of the area where we're going to put the Christmas tree. That's why I moved over a little bit. Normally, I keep the table in front of this window at such great natural light. And it's where I do most of my indoor filming. 
because I have to use my, my table where I work. I have my computer here, I keep the ring light here, my makeup. I haven't been doing so well with the makeup, but I get wonderful light from a window straight ahead, a great big window that I just showed you. But we're putting the Christmas tree there this year, and that's another job Matthew has today. We're bringing the tree in. I have an artificial tree, sort of a slimish one that fits much better in our cottage. So I'll show you a few more things how I'm getting ready here. So today we're going to finish up our work party with Matthew, get my Christmas tree up. And in this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about being a maximalist versus a minimalist and some of the treasures that I save that are mementos, memorabilia, nostalgia, whatever you wanna call it, that I just can't part with. And I know a lot of you are just like me too. So I'm gonna show you a few things and we'll talk about that too. Now, as you know, I always put on my castor oil, Hollywood brand, black Jamaican castor oil. Someone asked if I thought it was too thick and I don't. Now it is thicker than some serums, but I told you I gave my moisturizer a little bit of time to rest. I just put a nice layer of this on. And what this does is this just allows everything to glide on. If I didn't put this on, my makeup would flake, which is why I never wore makeup until I was 82 years old, believe it or not. Just eye makeup, lipstick, blush, but no foundation or primers or any of that. Okay, so I'm gonna let that rest for a few minutes. And now I'm gonna show you how I'm just going to put this little wet and wild stick on my conceal with no foundation and no primer to speak of. And I've been amazed at what it covers and what it does. And now I picked up three more of these because they were only $2.40 half price clearance at CVS yesterday. So I have some backup that's on these. I love it so much and it's so reasonable. And I also found that they make uh, a blush. No, where is it? Why didn't I bring it in? Oh, yes, I did. A little blush stick. So I'm gonna try that. It's not quite the shade that I like. I like a rosy shade, but we'll try it. This is a little bit um, more ruddy, which basically is what I always thought my complexion was. So I'm gonna try that. <laughs> Can't go wrong for $2.49 or 59 cents, can you? <laughs> but I've always used this. So that's all I'm gonna put on today and see how it goes as Matthew and I work outside for a while. I did uh, be very careful yesterday to rest my body so that today I knew it would get a good workout. So Matt said lay low yesterday, which I did as I worked quite a bit the day before. Still have a lot to do. I have been using this color Conceal 807 is the number, which has been giving me a nice sort of um, ivory bisky look. And I also found another color. They have several colors of these. And this one is called a corrector. And it's a, a bit of a tan, which I thought if I wanted a tanner look, maybe I'd use this. So I picked that up as well, but I am going to use the normal one that I've been using on my face today to show you how this works without foundation or primer. Now I put it on my cheeks. Now I can't see what I'm doing here, so I should look in my mirror to see how much I'm putting on. Under the eyes, a bit on the nose, now I have little marks here and there. I have a new little mark up here. Down the laugh lines or marionettes, a little bit here and a little bit up here. Now the main thing is I wanna make sure that the cheeks definitely get covered. A little bit on the eyes too. I do have some little red pigmentation dots up there. So I like to put it on. So I have my little mirror here. So I just rub it in. Hope that I can see what I'm doing here. You always have to watch around the nose to make sure that everything gets in 
Especially under here, you don't want to look like you have a cold with a red nose. If I have a sweater on, I would take a Kleenex and just blot under the chin thing. I don't put any bronzer on. I can never figure that out when people put the bronzer down here under the chin. Why it doesn't get all over your clothes? I can't figure that out. Now, have I rubbed it in enough? As you can see, it has covered all my sunspots, my dark spots. Why use foundation and primer? and more stuff on your face if you don't really have to. The idea is basically to get a smooth look and I think it does enough for me. I don't, I'm not looking for perfection, obviously, at this stage of the game, especially on a work day. I might do a little bit more on a special oh, night, but. Good. All right, how did it do? Wow, I think I've discovered a secret. <laughs> I can't believe this little $2.59 secret. Now, I am going to put this blush on for the first time and see how it works. I've never used this before, but why not if, if the other one... Now, it's obviously a lot lighter than my other brush, I can tell, than my other blush. And I always put a little up here across the top. A little bit down here. Yeah, it's not as rosy as the other one, but let's try it. Bring it out on the cheeks a little bit. That's nice. Maybe a little on the nose, a little there, a little chin. I think it's nice. Really, it's soft. And I like the color. Wow. Once again, a big wow. I'm still having my morning coffee. Moosey is up and I've just uh, brought him breakfast. So I'm going to put a little red lipstick on just for, just for kicks right now. Merry Christmas. So that's my look for the day, my work day. I'm ready to go. You know, I did want to talk with you a little bit about um, Vlogmas. I hear all the YouTubers talking about their Vlogmas schedules. And I, I really don't know exactly what that means other than what they like to do during the 25 days or 24 days going up to Christmas. And from what I understand, they can do something every day or a couple of days a week that have to do with gift ideas or whatever. And last year, I remember um, Moosey and I decided that so many of you didn't get in. I'm going to walk around here for just for a minute um, using my new um, stick. I forget what you call them. But um, last year... I remember that a lot of you told us that you weren't getting out. It was uh, COVID time, of course, and uh, just a bad time at Christmas. And so we decided to take some rides through neighborhoods and perhaps show you all the lights going up and down the streets. And there were some scheduled events during certain neighborhoods locally in North Orange County here that we went through and you all seem to love it. So maybe we'll do that again. What I would like you to do is tell us what you would like to do. By the way, I'm, I'm in the bedroom right now and I decided to maybe I better put on some eye makeup. I also decided the red was just too much for a work day around the cottage. So, um, I think I, I think I mentioned to you, do let, let us know what you think you'd like us to do in the way of bringing you a little Christmas cheer. I'm not shopping too much this year, as you know, but I do have some gift ideas that are reasonable uh, without going out and spending too much money. 
I had these pictures uh, that we took put on canvases and this is taken up in Big Bear back in 2004 and just to let you know um, this gal right here is Molly who is now married and has two babies Colin is married and expecting his second baby Riley is 30 now look at these this is Katie and this is Ryan who is now 20 she was baby Jesus at the time I made all the costumes and they all dressed up it was a nativity scene Aiden right here is 22 or 23 24 maybe and there we are Oh my goodness, isn't this wonderful? I have these on canvas now hanging in our, our bedroom. And this one we did probably about five or six years ago. This is Lizzie. Lizzie is now, you've seen pictures of Lizzie. Lizzie is now seven, I believe. And she was the baby Jesus there. This is Ryan and Shannon. These are grandchildren. Now this is Shannon right here. Bevan is, here's Bevan as a little angel. And look at Matthew and Dolly and Brendan. Oh my goodness, look at Brendan. Aren't these wonderful? And this is little Megan. Megan's our little cook. Megan is now 10, nine, I don't know. They're getting too old. But this was, these were our Christmas cards those particular years. And I made all these costumes for the children. See all the robes with the fur on them. Oh my goodness, what wonderful memories. These are hanging in my bedroom. Whoop. High five. Did it again, almost. Did it again, but they didn't throw anything away. Matt's my buddy. He doesn't throw stuff away. He just helps me pack it away, right Matt? Well, I threw one or two things away, but that's all. No, they had to go. No, we did a good job, Mama. We uh, did. This is phase two. There's phase gonna, two. There's good. gonna, how many more are there? Maybe two or three more? One more. Oh, oh, one more. And then, and then the one when I'm gone, and then you go through everything. Let's creep up and say This hi. is a big one, though. A big creep clean. <laughs> creep down. Creep down. Hello. This is my buddy. How are you? <laughs> How are you? What's new? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. I'm cold and tired. <laughs> well... Until next cleanup session, we'll see you then. Thank you, Matt. Oh. <laughs> Here's Moosey going through his box of how how old is it that it goes back? Well, um, some stuff that were recovered when my mom died, and I just found a curl of mine for my first haircut. Oh my gosh! And a birthday candle for my first first birthday cake. Oh, you're a saver, see, Moose? It goes pretty far back. And is that your dad? <laughs> that picture? Yeah. Put it up close, yeah. That's Moosey's dad as Fortnite. a young man. That's yep. a Columbus here. Wow. And what's all this stuff? Oh, you'll... Uh, that's, that's not a throwaway pile. Oh, I found Dubby's first... Um, <laughs> I found... <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, I'm buying this stuff. I found mom's hospital bill, which she had me. She was in for 10 days. Oh, I know. 75 bucks. Wow. <laughs> well, I remember at Fort Knox, I was in for five days and it was $7.75 in the army. That's because you had a private phone. <laughs> oh, did I? Yeah. That's what they charged <laughs> How you funny. for. Now, let me see what we have. All our birth certificates. Now, see, Moosey thought I didn't save this, but the week before the big purge, I got in there and found it. <gasps> Who did this? I love... Pauline and Micah. Oh, my gosh. Micah. I love Poppy and Nana. That's my mother and father by Colleen. I love you. Oh, she did that for my mom and dad. <gasps> Isn't this amazing? Dear Poppy, I know you're in the hospital, I hope you get better fast. I hope I can come with you to Hancock and have a lot of fun. I love you, Poppy. Signed, Mikey, the only Poppy. Oh, this is amazing. You have some, who's this? Is this is Mikey? Take a look at it, see if you can think. Margie. Oh. Riley. Riley, our grandson Riley. Oh, isn't this fun? Look at all this stuff. 
Wait till I show all my ladies the stuff I've saved. I miss your face, dear Nana. Who's that from, I miss your face? Dear Nana, oh, I hope it, that you are in my prayers every Macy's. night. December 12th, oh. 1937. Wow, what and did she Vanderbilt, buy? Vanderbilt electric train set, $6.98. Was that for you for Christmas? I guess. Wow, this is fun. Okay. You're gonna be out here on your own. It's gonna be dark soon. <laughs> Matt's doing the final sweep up, the clean up. And this is all the important papers, and whatever, out in the shed, but saved by Nat. And look who's here, just snoozing away. Yes, Nanny Shamo. Well, the job is finished for the day. It's four o'clock. I'm a wreck. Matthew is outside talking to dad. I can't tear him away from, dad, listen to me. Mosey, <laughs> I can't tear him away from his memorabilia. And he thinks I'm crazy with all mine, but he's having fun. Matthew's exhausted, his knee is killing him. And I think we accomplished a lot again today. We have the tree up, but those automatic lights are missing in the middle of the tree. So I do have a lot of extra lights here that I'm going to be able to put up on the tree tomorrow. And I do have a little bit more sorting of some stuff, but we tackled 90% oh, of the job today. Matthew's such a love. He's just my savior so many times. And he's so funny. I just laugh so much with Matthew. So, you know what? I'm gonna do my editing tonight. I don't have what I wanted to put on this video, but um, I think I have enough. And we'll talk maybe tomorrow, who knows? Maybe I'll be able to do more videos a week once I get all these jobs done. And um, I'm not gonna sit down. So I think what I'm gonna do is say goodbye on this video and put on what I have already. I didn't get to talk about minimalism and maximalism. Obviously, we're not going to talk much about minimalism, as you can tell around here. <laughs> but um, I, th I think we have enough. Now, do tell me in your comments what you would like me to do for my little vlogmas. I, I got to find out what a real vlogmas is and other than riding around and showing you the lights because Moosey and I want to see those two. We so enjoyed that last year and showing you some things. You know what? I did manage to find some globes at CVS yesterday and they were big and reasonable and they're the ones that you put the picture in on both sides and you can decorate the bottom, uh, put a plaque on it, and give wishes. Isn't this a lovely present with maybe pictures on both sides of Moosey and I, and on the other side, Moosey and I with the six kids? Wouldn't that be nice for all the kids? I was able to snap only three of them. I couldn't go to some other CVSs and think I can get more. But my first gift idea for you Everybody loves a snow globe, especially a personalized one. I did have some other things too, but I think Moosey's coming in, Matt's coming in to say goodbye. And um, I want to edit it, give Moosey some supper, and maybe you'll have a video tomorrow, Tuesday. So I hear Matt, maybe he'll come on camera again. He's so funny. I just love my Matty. I, I can't get him to go home. He's out there with the push broom, sweeping up. Well, they feed me. <laughs> uh, no, Matthew actually brought lunch today to us. Move in, get closer. Well, we did a good job out there now. We did. Mama's got her tree set up, starting to. Yeah, it looks nice. Starting to decorate for Christmas, but Mama, the, we've got, it's got like zebra stripes. Of... <laughs> Here's the tree, Matthew and I set it up. We have lights on the top third. Nothing in the middle. Nothing there. And some lights on the bottom. 
So we have some more work to do there and I have not decorated it yet. So good day's work done and I'll finish it tomorrow. I have lots more lights I can put on. No. Well, the middle third is the lights are out. We can't find, you know how you put these trees together. What were there three parts? Yeah. Yeah. And we can't find the connectors and whatever, but there's four male plugs and six female. We don't know where to put them. Well, we don't. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But course, it looks good. There's always more females, right? Yeah, it does. And Mama's good. never short of decorations or ornaments or anything. No. She, she could decorate everybody that's out there. She could decorate your tree and still Well, have you know, at going. one point, when you think about it, we had the house up in Big Bear. Yeah. We had our, our family home, the big home. We had a couple of trees there. Yeah. Uh, Palm Desert, so we, I, you know me, and I'm the maximalist. At Christmas time, every one of them was decorated. Oh, yeah. Not over-decorated, Yeah, decorated. over-decorated. And let's do the Christmas <laughs> dance. We always had um, a tradition that Matthew always I, put I'm, the I'm, star. I'm without one knee, Mom, so. Oh, that, I know, that's right. Maddie has a knee problem. But he was the one that always put the star on top of the tree. And whether we were in London or Ireland at Christmas, wherever we were, we found a Christmas tree. And what'd we do? This one, right? We we danced back and forth, back and forth. And I used to get airborne when I did this, but <laughs> you did. no longer. My knee won't allow it. But. Well, anyway, he, he did manage to put a star up there for us. So. We always loved Christmas. Mama always made it so special. Yep. And you, you, still boy. do. Try to do it for good my boy. kids and my family. Merry Christmas, Mama. Thank you. You go home now. Well, as you can see, it's almost dark. It's 10 of five, almost dark. And Moosey is still sitting out there with his tub of memorabilia. Matt has left, but Moose said, okay, no, I'll be right in, I'll be right in. It's okay, Matt, you can go. <laughs> he is reading letters he, about when he just proposed to me and reading letters when he was in sixth grade, he's having so much fun. So I will say goodbye and just leave this video for what it is, put it up tomorrow, and then maybe the next day or the next day, and maybe you'll have another one in another day or two. So thank you all for watching. I had fun today, even, th well, it's probably because nothing was thrown away today except a lot of leftover junk. <laughs> But we did get the Christmas tree in and Maddie came and that always makes me be happy. So I hope you're having fun too, getting ready for the holidays. Stay well, everybody. Those of you who got the flu, I hope you recover quickly. Our family has. And now I'm going to go in and make a little supper for us. We still have some leftover turkey and um, cranberry sauce, thank heavens, and stuffing because I just don't feel like cooking maybe tomorrow I'll make another soup. So I'm dirty and I'm hungry and I'm a little bit cold, but I love you all. Thank you so much for watching, enjoying and commenting. And those of you who haven't subscribed yet, we'd love it if you would consider joining our little family. Goodbye for now. God bless us all.